Hello, welcome Hi. back to Tank Talks. We are here to talk about the purple tank. Purple body, yellow tail. Yes, they usually come very tiny, but they can get kind of a little mid-sized fish. Actually, no. They use they are more commonly available mid size to big. Oh, really? Wow, yeah. So to come tiny one is actually not that easy, but yeah, we got our hands on them. But they're still wow, right? They're not they're the small wild. tiny cap. They're still okay. wow, yeah. So I mean, like most zebra soma ones, like yellow tanks, brown tanks, they're fairly hardy. They do very well in captivity. Yeah. Um, they're pretty egg resistant. You know, it's not really a big deal to them. True. Um, but they also have a. Reputation for being one of the more aggressive zebra soma things. Yes. Um, mine, however, remember the, the first batch of fish yeah. I got here, the purple tank, is getting bullied by every other tank in the tank. Okay. It so gets bullied by a yellow tank that was the last tank in the tank. Ah. And they're the same size. Okay. And it just hides. It's very odd. And I, other people say, oh, purple tank's the worst. No, I don't know. My guy is just not. Mm. Easy. So I think there's two things about purple tank. Other than the aggression that it can vary from tank to tank, I think it's very different. Mm. Um, one, of, one of the common stories I always hear is that they are always the last to uh, KO or die in a very stressful situation. If like, for example, oh. I've heard so many stories that if your pump is not working uh, for hours and hours, everything else would have died except the really? purple tank. Yeah, I've seen it myself as well. It was probably 48 hours when until the customer found out that the pump was actually dead. 40. Yeah, and the purple tank was still there. So that's a very in a way it's a very hardy yeah. fish, I think. Yeah. Um, when you talk about egg as well, actually funny enough, this batch had some egg. Mm. Uh, we managed to take it down control in two days. Mm. We we treated it and they're all great right now. So um, you can literally see some spots on them, but they will I fight mean, it yeah, out. You, yeah, that, yeah. That, it, even when my tank was like overridden at the point of time, it's like, not yeah. even a speck on it. But yeah. Meanwhile, the black tank, the Achilles tank, like <laughs> yeah. a wash with it. it. So, in, no, in summary, pretty hardy fish, you know, it is a keep hardy it in regular yeah. reef conditions, reef safe, won't bother your universe, won't bore your corals. Mm -hmm. Great fish, just a bit of a bitch sometimes. Uh, the price range right now is probably about 150. Uh, Sing dollars. Yeah, I think it's I think it's worth a worth to invest in one if you are you have a three foot tank and above. Yeah, you still have a smallish one, you know, mm. and then um, people in Singapore at least, it's pretty, a lot of reefers here, so it's pretty easy to trade fish in and out. Ah. So a lot of people have like keep nanos, they keep small ones, when it gets a bit big, they trade it out. Mm. This may not be the case in the US where, you know, reefers are more spread apart and stuff like that. But in Singapore, everyone's literally there, a 15 minute drive away, you know, it's pretty easy to get it done. Would you say that it's rare? Purple tank? Yeah. No. I think every I think it's ubiquitous. I think every tank has a purple tank, more so now than a yellow tank. Okay, but do you know that in a year I probably get less than twenty shipments? It's not as common as one would like to think. But you think the, the common thing is that because it's so hardy and it lives a long time, That's right. a lot of it goes That's around. Right. There's no shortage of yes. purple tanks ever, yes. you know. Yeah. Whereas so just know that yeah. it's actually not that common, but because it's so hardy, yeah. that's also a a telltale sign, lah. Yeah. Yeah. And now that they're even captive bred, great. You know, yeah. but uh, to begin with, they're already well suited for Korea, so can't go wrong. Just watch out for aggression and all tanks. And, uh, Definitely, I'll have a bubble tank. Yeah, I have one. It's great. Be next. <laughs>